Hari? Mayushi is adorable, and this du -du -du. is not annoying. Fuck you, fight me. Steins Gate Zero is one of the series I'm most looking forward to in the start of the 2018 spring anime season. Or, if this is the future, that I look forward to. But why? One word. Or is it two? Steins Gate. What is Steins Gate? Steins Gate is a highly acclaimed visual novel developed by 5PB and Nitro Plus, released in 2009, that had a critically acclaimed anime adaptation which aired in 2011. Somehow I missed the series the first time around, and only discovered it a relatively short while ago. After a chance encounter with the show, during a brief spur of the moment vacation to Tokyo and Akihabara, while on a brief business trip to China, that planted the interest in the show, that finally led me to give it the proper watching after I returned home, and to metaphorically kick myself for having waited so long to watch it. If you've got any other must-watch anime that you think I may have missed between 2010 and 2014, please do leave a comment telling me below. But what is Steins Gate? If you're the type likes to go into an anime or media completely blind, I suggest you stop here. You know who you are, my friend. Ready? I'm the Revenite, and this is Steins Gate, or why I'm excited for Steins Gate Zero in the spring 2018 anime season. The Steins Gate anime is a 24 episode series animated by White Fox, observing the members of the future Gadget Labs, happenings, and inadvertent effects that seemingly small changes to reality have on their lives. This is a story of time travel, but none of the kind you typically expect. Who are the once and future members of the future Gadget Lab? Why not let him introduce himself? <laughs> Okabe Rintaro, lab member 001, our protagonist and primary point of view. He is a first year university student at Tokyo Denki University. If you want to know more about him, just watch the anime. Laboman number 001, Kurasate Nada Tina Makishi, Makise Kurisu. Lab member 004, our main female protagonist. She is a scientific researcher at an American university, and already has had her research published in a scientific journal. Shina Mayuri, lab member 002, longtime childhood friend of Okarin. She likes to create cosplays and works part-time at a maid cafe. She has a sing-song style of speaking and typically sings when she arrives or introduces herself. Hashida Itaru, lab member 003, Okarin's fellow university student and experienced hacker, well-versed in programming computer systems, new and old, and others. Steins Gate is set in 2010 in Akihabara, Electric Town. A place that evolved into the heart of otaku and moe culture. And that's one thing I really love about Steins Gate. A few weeks before I finally watched Steins Gate, I was able to visit Akihabara for the first time. It was quite a treat watching the anime and being able to recognize places that I'd actually been to and seen with my own two eyes. Someone described the art in Steins Gate as being bleak and desaturated. And to be honest, they wouldn't be wrong. But I believe this is actually a strength. Hear me out. The neutral, bleak palette of Steins Gate serves the story by helping to establish a feeling of mundanity that grounds the show as something that could be reality. Additionally, when bright, bold colors are used during emotionally powerful or shocking scenes, the ability to pull out these moments of strong color contrast allows the scenes to have a stronger impact than if everything was generally more saturated by default. Watching Steins Gate's story unfold is like getting on a roller coaster, mostly hidden in darkness. 
It slowly builds up, climbing slowly, higher and higher, until the tension reaches a tipping point, where you start hurtling into the unknown, and you're in for quite a ride. As a viewer, I felt like I was thrown back and forth, up and down. Everything was possible, chaotic consequences resulting from tiny choices. It was a thrilling experience right up until the most satisfying perfect conclusion. You may be wondering now, how would you follow up a perfect conclusion without ruining it? You don't. Steins Gate Zero, well yes, it is a sequel of sorts. It's actually a side story, diverging from the timelines of Steins Gate just before the conclusion. Steins Gate Zero is an opportunity to see these beloved characters again, at a new point in their lives, and an opportunity to be introduced to new characters to fall in love with. This is Steins Gate, or why I'm excited for Steins Gate Zero. You've made it this far. You must like either Steins Gate or be pretty interested in it, or you're just really bored. If you're watching this before April 2018 then, if you're interested in experiencing more of Steins Gate, I will be live streaming the visual novel on this channel. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and tick the bell to be notified when I go live, or if you just want to know when I post anime related content.